Today we're going to simplify polynomial expressions. And here's my expression. And the first thing you always want to do is look in your parentheses and see if there's anything to simplify. So in this parenthesis, I've got an x plus a 3. Those are unlike terms, so there's really nothing to do with them. And the same thing in the other parenthesis, I've got an x minus 2, and they're unlike terms, so I won't simplify them either. The next thing we look at are exponents, and this is the only exponent I have, the squared. And the way that you simplify a binomial raised to a power is you write out the binomial as many times as the exponent because that's what squaring means. It means write this binomial times itself. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and distribute out this binomial and figure out what it is equal to. So for example, I've got an x times an x, which gives me an x squared. I've got an x times a negative two, which is a negative two x. Notice that I've multiplied this x times everything on the right side. I'm going to do the same thing with the negative 2. I'm going to multiply the negative 2 times the x. This gives me another negative 2x. And then this other negative 2 will also multiply by the first negative 2, giving me a positive 4. So I've multiplied everything on the left times everything on the right, and this is my expression. Now, if this had been a subtraction symbol here, I'd want to put this in parentheses, so I would distribute the negative, but it's an addition symbol so I can go ahead and drop the parentheses. Now what I'm also going to do is because I have another multiplication statement here is I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 2x times the x plus 3. So I'm multiplying 2x times the x which gives me a 2x squared and I'm going to multiply the 2x times the plus 3 which is a positive 6x. The final step that we have to do is go through and combine any like terms that we see. And like terms are going to have the same variable parts and the same exponents. So for example, 2x squared and x squared have the same variable part and the same exponent. So we can add them together, giving me 3x squared. Next, we've got a 6x, a negative 2x, and another negative 2x. So we can combine those like terms together. 6x minus 2x minus 2x should give you a total of just 2x's left over. Because 6 minus 2 is 4, minus another 2 leaves you with 2x's. And finally, we have just a 4 left over. And so we write down the positive 4. So this expression is our simplified answer.